A mission of equity. Are you going to join the mission of equity? Can you define it? Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Lohmeyer can define it. He knows what that mission looks like. He was a commander in the Space Force. He was then fired for speaking out against the open political indoctrination that he saw there. He's the author of the book, Irresistible Revolution, Marxism's Goal of Conquest and the Unmaking of the American Military. Colonel Lohmeyer joins us tonight. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel, thanks so much for coming on. So NASA, you would think, would be the one branch agency that would be immune from the equity mission. Were you, I mean, you served in the U.S. government for a long time. Were you under the impression that NASA had a problem with discrimination in years past? Yeah, I don't know, Tucker. Thanks, first off, for having me on your show. Uh, and as always, I don't speak for the Defense Department, but speak for right. myself. Um, you know, I'm, I don't think that any of our institutions at this point are immune from this idea that we're going to be pursuing equity. Uh, clearly, these are hot topics, uh, the, the talking point of the day. In fact, I do want to define it for the American people. You, you mentioned, I know the definition of equity. Uh, it's important for the American people to understand the difference between equity and equality. One of them is good and the ideal, and the other is not good. Uh, we tend to confuse at the moment equality of opportunity, which is the ideal and is something that's a part of America's founding uh, philosophy, with equity. It's a new, it's a new term. It's, it's used wittingly, which essentially means enforced outcomes or enforced inequality. In fact, based on what I've seen uh, in the Department of Defense, and now what I'm hearing is permeating institutions across uh, the country, it's essentially even potentially uh, illegally discriminatory uh, policy. Uh, equity is not good as it is defined, but it sounds good, and that's why we use the word. But NASA has historically been, uh, I think, a symbol of inclusion and equal opportunity. Uh, yes. NASA is the kind of an organization that people can look at and understand that regardless of your background, you're able to show up here, just like in the Defense Department, and rise up based on your merit and have an opportunity to make a name for yourself, to rise to leadership, and actually do very important things for the country. Because there's a unifying mission uh, that these institutions uh, believe in, whether it's space exploration, in the case of NASA, or uh, defending uh, our, our country and our, our allies from serious threats that we have in the world. People in uniform, for example, rally around that mission and yes. have historically not been caught up in the kind of identity politicking that you're talking about and that I'm hearing uh, in your monologue. And so I'll just make one point to say that I think our senior leaders and our national leaders need to think very carefully about whether or not they want to inject tribalism into our, our long trusted institutions in this country that typically have not been infected with tribal thinking with all that that uh, entails. Do we really want to walk the road that will cause us to abandon Martin Luther King Jr.'s uh, dream right. of having a colorless society where, in fact, we're starting once again to judge people in, by the color of their skin, impugning guilt to other groups of people based on their group identity, not because of anything that they've ever done necessarily themselves, but based on who they are, accidentally even, let's say. Uh, that is a good definition of racism. We don't impugn guilt to people based on the color of their skin. No, and we never should. And I always imagined that the military was the shining beacon of what the rest of the country should be because it was a colorblind meritocracy in there. So I think this threatens all of us. Um, Lieutenant yeah, Colonel in Lomar. fact, the, the, mil the military is great at that, Tucker, and uh, that's why so many people are upset about what they're hearing. Yeah, and they have every reason to be. I know that you are. Thank you. Thank you for speaking out and for coming on tonight. Appreciate Thank it. you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.